So we have a patient who was found to have an incidental uh, cancer on Sydney biopsies. So you can see here the endoscopist who did the original procedure correctly identified the gross signs of uh, chronic atrophic gastritis. You can see visible vessels there through the uh, stomach wall. You can see pallor. And if I give you a nice retroflexion now, you can see a loss of folds. So this is a pan atrophic gastritis picture. To show you some of the other features of chronic atrophic gastritis, if we look at the lesser curve here, you can see that this patient has really nice example of little foci, and let me just come a little bit closer and get a better view, little foci of metaplasia in amongst, little foci of metaplasia in amongst normal stomach. If we just look here, for example, you can see lots of gastric pits, the round dots there, and then you can see some elongated area, which is the metaplasia. So whenever you see a stomach like this, there's a nicer picture there. So there you can see lots of gastric pits, and then in the center of the screen there, you can see that elongated there, which is a foci of metaplasia. So whenever you see a stomach like this, you know that this stomach is of higher risk, and you need to have thorough endoscopic inspection. And you can see that there is metaplasia on the, the uh, lesser curve, and in the greater curve, probably less metaplasia on the greater curve, but there are a couple of little dots dotted around here. I wonder if we can see one there. No, that's normal and normal here, but certainly atrophic. Now, if we go into the gastric antrum, metaplasia is harder to see within the antrum. And what you can look for is these color changes. So here's a nice example here, right in front of us. So you can see here, right in front of me here, is an area of color change, almost like a gray um, color change on top. And then what you want to look for is this light blue crest, which I'll try and demonstrate here with a patch of metaplasia which is another sign of uh, overline metaplasia. I'm just gonna try and find a nice patch of light blue crest there. Let's see if we can find a patch of metaplasia to show you. Ah, oh, here we are, lovely. So right in the center of your screen there, you can see a discoloration, a gray appearance. And then if you, you can see around that elongated, that gray appearance, you can see a light blue fluorescence almost uh, 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 surrounding area, which is the light blue crest of metaplasia. So she's definitely got metaplasia within the antrum and within the greater, uh, and, and within the lesser curve, and a little bit in the greater curve, but not much. Now, we know the most common site for um, uh, cancer is in the incisure. And if I'm just gonna flick onto white light now, just to show you these white light appearances of this, this patient's stomach on the incisure. So this is what one would have seen on the incisure. And you can see it certainly looks inflamed and abnormal. And I hope that people would probably pick up that that is an area that's certainly abnormal looking, if, if, if not inflamed. Now, but when I put on my narrow band and my near focus here using the Olympus scopes, what you can see here in the center of the screen, I hope you can appreciate, I'm just gonna go a little bit closer, is here. Now that we start to see, you can see some nodularity, you can see some metaplasia surging, but right in the center of that screen there, you can see a subtle depression, you can see the vascular depression has become more friable, and you can see there's an area there right in the middle that has lost its mucosal pattern. Um, there is an amorphous pattern there. There are irregular vascular pattern. That is certainly an early cancer there. And what we can do is just go along the incisure and look at how far that spreads. And actually, if we come just a little bit further along here, it starts to become normal but inflamed. There are little bits there with the mucosa. I'm just gonna clear, but I have already looked at those areas and they look okay. So certainly there's a cancer Right here, there you go, that's a nice view of it there. So you can certainly see there's a cancer within that area there on the incisura, and then it probably extends a little bit along the incisura here. So whilst I think one would see in white light, if I go back to white light now, and normal, I think you could see in white light, certainly abnormal. I think only once you put the narrow band on does one really fully appreciate that that is certainly a worrying air, and that's an early cancer right there. So this patient's gonna be worked up for an ESD,